Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next polish review video and um, as usual I'm going to be using polishes that I've yet to use before. Um, and the two polishes that I'm going to be using, um, this first one is by Julep, this one is called Faye. And I can't, I don't remember, I don't know which month this box was in. I think it might have been like October or November. Like they don't put any type of indicator as to which collection or which month you received the box, just the year. And this one is from the Boho Glam Profile. It's like this nice, almost like caramelly brown with gold shimmer in it. And I've been eyeing this one and try, wanting to use this for a while, but... I figure I haven't really done something that's like more neutral, so I figured I would go ahead and use this because I think it would work really well with this other polish that I just received from one of my beautiful um, nail BFFs here and um, Nay Butterfly, I think it's 2012, and this is from the indie brand I Heart Nail Polish, and this is what the packaging looks like. Very nice packaging. It says it doesn't contain formaldehyde, toluene, or dibutyl phthalate, and um, boutique, boutique nail lacquer, so it is three free, and it is slightly smaller than normal size, but um, so it's only 0.4 fluid ounces as opposed to 0.5, and this one is called Cashmere Sweater. It is like a like neutral, like beigey tan holographic, which. I've not seen anything quite like this, but then again, I don't have a lot of indie polishes, so I don't know how many of the indie brands actually have something like this. So I have been wanting to try this one out since I got it, and I figured these would just kind of pair really nicely together. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with polishing my nails. And I am going to use this I Heart Nail Polish. Um, um, polish first, because I've been just so dying to try this and I've never seen a holographic in this shade. Mind you, I, of course, haven't seen every single color and I'm not, not really up on the indie brands so and then also I like to do the ones that I'm not sure how you know opaque it will be just to see which nails to put it on to see if I'm going to do one accent nail or multiple so um, as always I do cap the free edge it helps with the longevity and wear of your manicure and then what I do is place my brush a few millimeters away from my cuticle and then just kind of press back, fan out the brush, press back and, you know, pull the brush down. Now if you do have like wider nail beds like me, you can always start off to the side because sometimes I find that it is easier to get like a nice even line if you start at the side of the nail as well. So you just gotta kind of find out which application process works best for you. So now that actually applied really, really nicely. Hopefully you was able you were able to see that. It is slightly like a little streaky, you know, there like right in here. You can see it's a little streaky and along here, but I figured that this would be a polish that I would need two coats for anyway, so I'm not, um, you know, bothered by that at all, especially with a lot of some of these holographics that are kind of a little bit more subtle. You want to do two coats just because you want it to the hollow effect to stand out. And I can see it here in my view, but I don't know how well it doesn't look like it's picking up very well on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and apply um, Faye. And this was actually had this in mm -hmm. An InStyle magazine, I think, not, I don't know if it was the recent one or the previous month, 
month's magazine. Um, I've been looking through a ton of magazines, current and old, trying to find inspirational items to help me pick what colors. And I saw this in the magazine, um, and it was talking about a lot of like the nice, neutrally, like caramelly browns. And this was one of the colors that they recommended, so it mm -hmm. further fueled my desire to try this one. And I must say, the application is flawless. There are no issues. It's not patchy. It's not streaky. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It is basic. It is opaque in one coat. I absolutely love this. And both polishes, there is like virtually little to no cleanup at all. And I am extremely pleased. So I'm probably just going to do like an every other nail and then switch it up on my right hand to get an even distribution of both colors. So um, again, you will need two coats for the cashmere sweater, which is the light tan color by I Heart Nail Polish, but one coat is only necessary for the julep. I might do two on one nail just to see how, if a second coat makes it look any better. So I will finish painting my nails and I will be back. Okay, so I am back and this is what I ended up doing. I ended up doing both nail hands exactly the same because, um, again, like I mentioned in the polish application part, I generally do the color that looks the sheerest first just because um, it kind of helps me decide how I'm going, how many nails I'm actually going to apply the color that I think will need more than one coat over. So I ended up only putting, making the cashmere sweater um, as my accent nail on two nails instead of doing how I did this one or just doing this hand opposite where this one has the ring and index finger. On this hand, I would have put cashmere sweater on the pinky, middle, and thumb just so that I'm using both colors the same amount of time. But because I needed two coats, I decided to just do it on the accent nails on each hand. So let me go over again. Um, so this is the indie polish that I'd use, and this is called I Heart Nail Polish. And it is called, again, Cashmere Sweater. And it has like really, really nice, you know, professional packaging considering most regular polishes don't come in a box. So this is, I think, really nice that it comes in a box and it has the name on the um, top of the box as well. It is smaller than normal um, polish sizes. This is only 0.4 fluid ounces, whereas most polishes are 0.5. And so here is what the formula looks like. It is a um, kind of thicker formula, and which I do like because it I literally have virtually no cleanup to do. This is like an average size brush, slightly, I would say slightly wider than maybe China Glaze, um, or about the same as China Glaze. And um, I will mention that the bristles are made slightly different than a lot of normal polishes because I noticed on some of my nails as I was brushing it down and as I got more, I don't know, it seemed like I, the bristles kind of were wiping off some of the polish a little bit. But other than that, that is the only thing that I would say would be like a negative about this polish. The formula is perfect. It applies nicely. It, I, will, I will. There is one more thing. It, it was slightly patchy um, on the first coat, but the second coat clearly um, covered that up. So, which is not unlike many other polish brands that I've tried. So, I mean, this is just as good as any other brand. I don't know the cost of these. Um, I will have to kind of look it up and then kind of put the price down below or in the description box. But, um, but yeah, I really, really like this. The Because it's such a f light neutral color, you don't really get the holographic effect to be, it's not as apparent as I would like, but you do get it. So if you're someone who really likes the neutral muted down colors, not like the wow in your face, this is a perfect one, even though it does have, you can see clearly see the shimmer 
on the nail, which I don't know that you can actually see that on camera, but you can, I can see shimmer clearly, but you probably, camera is not picking it up, but it is very nice. Now, Faye by Julep, oh my goodness, absolutely fabulous. Um, perfectly, did I mention I used two coats of this and I don't have top coat on any of my nails yet because I wanted you to see um, the glossiness without top coat. So they're actually both pretty glossy without top coat and again this is Faye. It's like a kind of like milk chocolatey caramel brown with gold shimmer and the gold shimmer just adds a little bit like a little bit more dimension to the color. It's not like in your face shimmer, but it is really, really nice gold shimmer. Like you can really see the gold and effects to it. And again, not again, but here is the formula. It's a fairly thick formula and it's like bordering almost gloopy, but not gloopy, not like bad, like because it this again virtually no mess no cleanup for this polish um it applied perfectly the brush spread out perfectly perfectly opaque in one coat again i only applied one coat of fay i absolutely love this color i've been eyeing this on my rack that sits in front of me for months now and I just figured I haven't really done any like neutral manicure, so I figured I would do one. And this was definitely going to be the one color I chose for my like kind of neutral look. So I absolutely love both colors. Formulas are great. Um, this one is not patchy, it's not streaky, no issues with the brush or anything like that. The I Heart nail polish is slightly streaky or patchy rather, however you want to call it. And then the brush is a little bit different than what I'm used to. So it kind of, you have to be kind of a, um, careful as to the amount of pressure that you apply when using the R Heart nail polish. But overall, the formula is really great. I'll have to look up the price. So let me know if you've used either of these two and what you think about them, or if you think you'll be looking into purchasing them based upon what I've shown you with the application. So Oh, and I almost forgot. I have a surprise for this video. I'm sorry, uh, my nails are, st I just are still kind of wet. So, um, if you watch my, some of my Christmas or after Christmas hauls, you'll know that I have been, I, my husband bought a whole bunch of stuff. And I told you I was going to be having some giveaways. And this is the first, and it's a hidden giveaway. And then I, since February is my anniversary, my one-year anniversary here on YouTube, I am going to be doing several giveaways throughout the month of February with the, the stuff that my husband picked up specifically for giveaways. So the first thing that I am including in this giveaway is this is just a... Um, little nice little pedicure kit and it's in gold and it has a toenail clipper, a cuticle pusher, a um, nail file and then it also has like a larger foot file in the back. So very nice. And then this three piece eyeliner set by e.l.f. It comes with a two different colors. One is in coffee one is in black and they're liquid eyeliners and then you get a brightening eyeliner pencil in black and then you will also be getting this six piece eyeshadow set and it comes with two four six colors and then it also comes with the little applicator dual ended applicator brush there and this is a neutral palette and then i am also including the glitter eyes as a four piece set and this comes with three shimmery shadows and then the eye primer emily noel um or she has a channel um, Emily Noel something and then um, Beauty Broadcast and she really likes this e.l.f. primer so I know the colors in here three of these are in the other one but <clears throat> I wanted to include this because it had the primer then I figured keep one gift one 
or you know you can take the little palette out and give them whichever one give a friend whichever one you want but I figure you can gift one to someone or keep it if you really like it and the last thing I'm going to be including is this LA Girl Ombre Kit and it's five ombre shades plus a free bonus top coat up here. I've never used their top coat or base coat so I can't speak for how well they works but I think um, Nice Nails 219, she uses the LA Girls base and top coats and some of their treatments or no maybe it's LA Colors. I think she uses LA Colors but anyway it just comes with five shades. It doesn't tell me the names of the shades on the box but they are all, it is, this one is called the Spring Fling Set, so it's like all, you know, darker, like teals, turquoise, to lighter pale blue, so that is everything that I'm going to be giving away, and basically, all you have to do is just enter one time, one, you have to be a subscriber, you don't have to be over 18, if you're under 18, please um, get your parents' permission, it's going to be open to all. It's not internet. Um, it's not limited to U.S. only. So U.S. and international. And um, it this giveaway will run till Monday the 27th. And all you have to do down below is just say, um, hmm, just say enter me. And um, that's it. So must be a subscriber and you need to make sure that I can see you as a, sub a subscriber because if you're not sharing publicly I cannot see that you're subscribed to my channel so um, must be a subscriber if you're under 18 get your parents permission US and international giveaway will run till Monday the 27th and just say enter me down below so thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye.